Good morning, guys. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And if you're not, I pray that your day gets a little brighter. Um, today, yeah. I decided to tell you about um, this wonderful fabric that I found. Um, back when I worked at Joanne's Fabrics, I had stocked this fabric for like three months. It was just sitting on the shelf and because I was working with other customers, I could, wasn't able to see like how much fabric it was. So around like Thanksgiving time, I picked it up and the lady told me it was like two yards, which is enough to make like some pants. So I went ahead and got it. But this fabric is like really neat. Like I have to show you because there's no more. I think um, the only other one that was just like this fleece was, it's not fleece, but it is fleece. I don't know, it's weird. Um, the only one that's like this is a The Walking Dead one. And it's just, I don't want zombies on my legs, okay? <laughs> but the TARDIS one was really nice. And they haven't, they're had, they haven't um, restocked this fabric at all. So I'm sorry if you're looking for it. There is like a really, really nice one that's like sweatpants that you could get. But um, this is like a really soft fleece. Like I can show you. It has like a bunch of TARDISes. And they're kind of just repeated. But um, yeah, I thought it was really nice. And it's really soft on the inside. So like you have the outside, it's like really silky and beautiful. And then you have the inside and it's like this kind of, it is like a fleece. It's really soft and like really fluffy on the inside. But it's just thin enough that you can make like cozy pants out of. So that's what I decided to do with them. So in this video today, I'm teaching you how to make these wonderful leggings from an easy McCall's pattern. Um, the number is 56173. And I make, I think it was pattern C, because I like my legs to be a little longer, even when like, even if they fit perfectly, I'd much rather have my legs be longer, so therefore I can hem it whichever way I need to, so that they'll fit, instead of making something and having it be too short, then I have to like roll it up, because it's at this awkward length, and I have to roll it up to make it look like caprice. So I did uh, number C, which is like, I think it's this red one here, yeah. It's the only example they have on here, but it's this red one here. It's really not that hard to make. Um, All together, the fabric you needed was like anywhere from like one and one eighth if you're extra small to two and one eighth if you're extra large. No, I'm incorrect. One and three eighths if you're extra small, and one and five eighths if you're extra large. And at a as long as the fabric is a uh, 60 inch, I think this was more than 60 inches wide. I think it was. But um, they're really nice. Actually, I can show you. Just something like this. And like I can say, like they're really, they're really nice. Like I love wearing them. And the bad thing is, like when you have some knit fabrics, they uh, it's hard to explain. Like with knit fabrics, if you never like worked in a fabric store, but like have you ever had a knit shirt that you're wearing and it hangs? Like you feel like it's growing longer, longer, longer as you wear it because of the type of fabric it is. That's kind of like this fabric, so it was. it's really kind of cozy at like the legs because they kind of droop down over your feet a little bit and they get longer. So it's like it's literally lazy cozy pants. So um, so yeah, but I really like them. Um, the only bad thing is that they're, it's a kind of a fleece kind of fabric. They call it character fleece, but um, it's really thin. But the only bad thing is the fact that it's hot here in Florida, so me wearing it I have to make sure I'm wearing a tank top on top or else I'm going to die because it's just too hot. But other than that, they're really nice. Um, you can definitely just make this with any regular um, stretch fabric. They even have like sequins on here. You know, any type of knit. You find a fair fabric, blah blah. If you have a fabric that you like and it's a knit, you can, I think it's this little line that's here. Like, I don't know if you can see that. But at the top, there's always something on your pattern where you have a knit pattern. That's called like, they call it a pick and knit, but basically you have to pull it, you have the edge of your fabric and you can pull it and it, as long as it meets to the end of this, you can, that's a good fabric for this pattern. So it's basically any knit, any performance wear, any active wear kind of fabric, which they, fabric stores tend to have. But um, but yeah, um, I think that's it. Uh, if you stay tuned, I'll go ahead and show you how to make these. So here's what my fabric looks like. I had a pattern, so I had to lay it all the way out so I could get the pattern to match because I don't want upside down TARDISes on one leg and right side one, right side up ones on the other leg. If you have a pattern like me, you want to lay out your fabric completely, pattern side up, and then take the pattern piece, lay it face side down, cut it out. Then on the other corner, you want to lay it the opposite way, 
I'm not quite sure what I said the first time. But you want to lay it the opposite way on the other corner and cut it out there. But if you don't have a pattern on your fabric, you can just fold it lengthwise and just cut out the, the one pattern piece and you'll be fine. With right sides together, stitch the inner leg edges together in a double stitch C. A double stitch blah blah. A double stitch seam, I know it's really difficult to say, means stitching along seam line, then stitching again one fourth away within the seam allowance. Turn one leg right side out and slip it inside the remaining leg. Stitch the crock seam with a double stitch seam. The cross stitch is where the raw edges on the legs meet, but not the top where it goes around the waist. When you get done with that, lay out your pants wrong side out. The seam allowance that was sewn for the crotch seam will ultimately get in the way of the elastic when you're feeding it into the casing. So you want to baste about three inches of seam allowance in place. Basically what I'm trying to say is, there's a piece of fabric that's gonna get in the way. You need to sew that down to move on. To form casing for elastic, turn the upper edge to the inside at 1 4th inch. If you have an iron and you have a fabric that you can iron, mine I cannot, um, you want to go ahead and iron it so that that 1 4th is visible and it's, it's, it makes it easier to meet the other fold line that you're gonna have to fold for the second time that you transferred from the pattern. So once you fold at that one fourth, you want to fold it again to meet the fold line you transferred from the pattern piece. Make sure you leave a large enough opening to insert the elastic. Take your elastic, attach a safety pin to the end, and feed it into the casing. This is a lot cheaper way of doing it than having to go out and find something that makes it so that you can feed it through the casing. Stitch the ends of the elastic together, then tuck it in the casing and stitch the opening closed without getting the elastic caught in the stitching. My suggestion is to try on the leggings before hemming, just to make sure, just in case it's too long, to save from extra stitching. Then turn up the edges in one fourth, and then again to that fold line of where you would like your leggings to end. You can top stitch the fold in place, or if you would like it more stretchy, you can always make a zigzag stitch, which will give it enough stretch and ease, which will allow more ease and more stretching. And then you're done. Oh, I also want to say, I also do want to apologize because I didn't realize how busy this fabric was when I was making this video. So it's going to be a little confusing to see like seams and whatnot. But um, I hope that you can make these pants. They're really nice. It's a really easy pattern. Um, this is really nice fabric if you can find it in your area, but I do enjoy these pants. They're really nice. Everything that you're going to need, you can find in the information box below. Uh, leave any questions or comments down below. Any constructive criticism you can offer, that'd be great. Just don't be a jerk. Um, but yeah, uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, hopefully you would subscribe because I should be doing more of these more often. Hopefully I can schedule at some point. Uh, but yeah. Um, my name is Jacqueline, and it was really nice and a lot of fun sewing with you today. You have a good one.